Mont Park this weekend, you might see the Dogwood Festival. You might also see a rather shocking exhibit separate from the festival that is intended to try to debunk psychiatry. It's supported by the Church of Scientology. Doug Richards is live there now with more. Doug. Well, Cheryl, you would have to wander pretty far off the beaten path from the Dogwood Festival to get into Magnolia Hall here at Piedmont Park, where you would find an exhibit called the uh, called Psychiatry and Industry of Death. And if you were to wander inside, you would find uh, numerous images of sort of old school uh, lunatic asylums over to the right over here. Uh, a little further over, you would find images of Nazi Germany. The proprietor of this exhibit says that this is not intended as an effort to pad the roles of the Church of Scientology. On the right, that's a guy performing a lobotomy. It's the classic ice pick through the nasal cavity. It's pretty grisly, isn't it? It is. When was the last time there was a lobotomy? Oh, 1950, I don't know, 1955. Then, of course, it was outlawed. But it's still relevant, in your opinion? It's still relevant because it, it's part of the history and the, the, um, the evolution of this particular method. Is it fair to call psychiatry an industry of death? Well, it, it may be a little bit um, shocking, but then that's how you gain attention. Is there a such a thing as ADHD? No. And so they, you think these mental illnesses are baloney? That's right. We do. All of them? All of them. It is, of course, you know, right in line with uh, the viewpoints of the Church of Scientology. But Scientology and science are two vastly different things. They're very, very slick. Says the chair of psychiatry at Emory University. We have evidence from science that there are treatments that work to help brain diseases. The Church of Scientology does not have that. What alternative would you propose to psychiatry? Well, I, I get asked that frequently. I, I would imagine that the Church of Scientology would be happy to be considered as one of them, quite frankly. As an alternative to psychiatry? To, absolutely. I've actually been a member of the Church of Scientology for about 33 years. Okay. And do they keep your head clear mentally? Absolutely. Yeah, I have a happy life. Deb McKay, the proprietor, says that the folks at Piedmont Park asked her to keep the exhibit separate from the Dogwood Festival, which is going on just outside of the Magnolia Hall, and will be here through Sunday. Live at Piedmont Park, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News. Doug, always.